In C, the return statement usually gives a value back to the original place of the function. Like in this code, you have your regular main function that print asks the value of calling the function fn with an argument of 5. The function fn takes in the argument of 5 and adds 1 to it as it's defined inside the function right up top. What that return then does is gives the nicely completed value of 6 back to this print statement so it can print out 6. I know the main gripe with this is that it is a silly example and why make a whole other function just to add 1 to a number. I agree with you there, but it's important to get the mechanics down of the return statement so that when you have a large enough piece of functionality that you want to make into its own function, you understand what return is doing. If you're enjoying these, I release new CE videos on Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you subscribe. Now on to my hedging language from when I started the video. Why did I say that return statements usually give back a value to the original place of the function? Well that, my dear learner, is where void functions come in. That is functions that return no value at all. Let's change this code slightly so you understand the difference between print and return. Now the fn function is taking an n and printing out the result of adding 1 to it. You might think, what's the point because we just achieved the exact same outcome two different ways? Well you'd be right, but missing a key detail. In this version of the code, main knows absolutely nothing about the 6 that is printed out. You the human see it printed to the screen, but the main function has no access to it. For a silly add 1 example, of course that doesn't matter. But if you're having to do multiple different calculations where the next step relies on the result of the previous step, then you'll need main to have access to return values. Like to learn more.